What's up, world? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and all the ways how to get to the money. I'm Wasu. I'm Hamed. And today we're talking about one of our favorite manufacturing companies, MP Materials. MP Materials. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to our channel. If this is your first time here at Radical Investors, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. When you do that, it lets the algorithm know that you're enjoying this content and it helps other people find this content so they can get this information just like you. That's right, guys. Bless that subscribe button on our channel. We're about 10x minimum plays. That's quantum gains, guys. So if you want to see those quantum gains plays, yes, sir. definitely subscribe. And with that, let's get into the video. So MP, we told you guys about this company, what, almost a year ago <laughs> now at this point ago, now, yeah. right? December, January, whatever. When it was trading back. around, what, $13, $14? 13, yeah, 13 a little bit over the SPAC price at that time, yeah. What's the price now? It's a, what is it now? It's like 40, it's like 40 plus dollars. 40 right now. plus dollars. Yeah. And this is what we talk about here on this channel. We hit winners all the time daily. We put out daily videos and we give you guys this information. So if you guys don't remember what MP Material, what the company actually does, I'm gonna tell them what they do. Yeah, so MP Materials, it's basically a resource play, right? They are looking to extract natural resources right for ev products right electric vehicles just all things um uh the next phase right from ev to just all the natural resources for all of the the new technologies that we need um going forward yeah and so there's a huge push to um eco-friendly stuff there's right. a huge push um to you know to be carbon neutral or all these projects all these things need raw materials exactly and the raw materials traditionally uh for a lot of these ev plays like batteries and, and some other things have been produced by china right exclusively uh, exclusively yeah. so um obviously you can think of a ton of reasons why that's not a good thing specifically um if you're from america or the west right, right? so uh, in comes this company, our guy Shamat, uh, yeah. Pali Patia, uh, yeah. the SPAC lord, like, as we call him, um, took this company via SPAC public, uh, like I said, a, about a year ago. Um, and their, their, their sole focus, right, is exactly that mining and producing some of these rare earth materials that are going to be of very, very strategic importance um, in the next 100 and 200 years for the United States of America and for really the West. Yeah, exactly. For the West side, for, for quite frankly, democracy, you know, countries that, that operate a certain way, you know. So what's great is that we have great news. Um, so their base, their main base is out here in California. That's where they're mining. There's a huge, I believe it's somewhere around NorCal, in between NorCal and Southern California. No man's land is what yeah. we call it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but there's plenty of, uh, plenty plenty of materials resources to get, right yeah. there, right? So... News came out that they will be opening a new plant, a magnet plant in the great state or a great state, Texas. I should say the great state because yeah. we know California is running it, but yeah. a great state, Texas. And let me just show you some of the points that they brought up. So this plant is going to be producing the alloy magnets. So the alloy magnets with the potential to power over 500 thousand ev vehicles per year that's right five hundred thousand vehicles they recently just did the partnership today with gm general motors they entered a long-term supply agreement great news and this um plant is expected to begin production in 2023 that's only two years from now actually basically year. one year yeah, right so year. so that's wonderful news guys um thoughts yeah, so you know the whole GM uh, situation is is absolutely beautiful because you know we love uh, Tesla, we own Tesla, yeah. and but it's just it's always interesting to see that you know Ford um, or a lot of these GM cars, right? Yeah, um, Cadillac. They they really if you look at the numbers. They they outsell Tesla like yeah. It's not even close. It's not even close. You know, enough, and yeah. you know, so these big like pickup trucks and things of the, that nature. So, you know, GM is, is trying to electrify their whole um, fleet 
and so is Ford and so is a lot of these other companies. So it's just really, really cool to see um, some of these legacy car manufacturers kind of getting into the game, right? So you guys know we're also in Lucid Air. Yeah. So um, they also have, I believe, a, te um, um, a factory in Texas or Arizona. It is yeah, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. So a lot of things happening in the southwest part of um, the country. But yeah, it's just it's a it's a good time. And again, once again, it's a great time to be in, in MP. Um, and it might be an interesting time to start a position, you guys. You know, the market has seen um, a, a, a pullback. Yeah. And it is presenting opportunities to buy some of these, what we consider to be fundamental companies. Right. Right. So it's not pulled back all the way back to, to our initial position yeah. of, of 15 bucks, but, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna... pulled back from, from its high. And, and again, this company... We think it's it's you know it's essential. Yeah, it's essential. Yeah, strategic. It's, it's so. going to be strategically essential just for um, America uh, going forward. And you know we'll see how these next few months play out because I think there's going to be plenty of opportunities to probably get probably. in right and to to add to your to your stock portfolio with this with this play. Um, yeah, this company. I mean, I just want to add. Let's let's yeah. One other point to point out. Um, the way that they extract, right, that my brother kind of mentioned shortly, is they they extract in a very humane way. And that's one thing that China doesn't do at all. Yeah. So again, we've seen things like carbon credits and different things like, or carbon taxes, right, for not doing things right and everybody having different goals, global goals to just do things a lot cleaner. So they're again doing this from the beginning, right? So where you have probably other countries in the East having to switch up and basically change their ways of doing it, right? Catch up, MP from the ground up is making themselves future-proof. So these are little points that probably Wall Street is like highly discounting and not made aware of at all, right? And that's why you guys should tune into channels like this because we give you our take and our alpha with our um, very unique backgrounds and you know just thought process on how we look at the the whole world of investing you know that's why we're radical investors over here guys yeah guys yes. make sure you hit um, put this one in your watch list at least make sure you subscribe you hit that like button so more people can find this content and like always happy hunting we'll catch you on the next one peace, peace.